Hey, you alright guys? So, this video actually contains two paintings. I stopped one halfway through and decided to start again. So I'm just going to talk about why I felt like I needed to start over and kind of where I went wrong in both the paintings because the second one, even though I, I liked it a bit more, it, it wasn't perfect. Um, the first painting, I just, I just didn't really like it from the very beginning. Even the sketch, I just, I don't know, it just, it was, felt weird to me. Like it just, it didn't, I couldn't get the face right, I couldn't get anything right, it was just like, it was just uncomfortable from the start, let's just say. I think sometimes you just you start saying even though you're sure it's not going to turn out right, and that's what I did, but I thought I'm going to push through because I might be able to fix it in the painting stage, and every painting that you do kind of goes through the stage of being really ugly. I've hated pretty much every single painting I've ever done at some point in the painting process. And a lot of the time I do end up liking it or even loving it by the end, so just because I hated it right now doesn't mean I would hate it at the end. It's, it's kind of weird because not everyone sees the whole process of how you get to the finished result. They get to skip to the end to the final polished result, and even if you watch the process online, it's always sped up. It's only the actual artist that has to sit through every second of their painting to get to the end. And sometimes it actually just feels like a journey where you don't and you don't even know what's coming. At least that's what it feels like for me, maybe for people that fan their stuff out a bit more, like they actually it's more of um, a well-traveled path, but for me it's like the friggin' hobbit, you don't know what's happening, it's crazy. So with the first one um, I started with kind of ink underlayers getting a bit of a texture going. I actually quite like that. I like the vibrancy of the ink, so it looked pretty cool. Um, when it really started to go wrong is when I added the black ink and was trying to do some line art. I, I'm not used to dip pens and I'm not very good at them. I don't know why I just thought, yeah, let me just get a dip pen out and just, I don't, I don't know. It was probably also the sketch because um, if your foundations aren't right, then you you're just going in blind, you have no idea what you're doing. It's really important to get the sketch right, first of all. It can be really hard to know when you should push through the painting and when it's time to just give up, just, let's just let it go. And you just kind of have to use your intuition, but it is really disheartening when you feel like you have wasted your time in this painting that you hate and you've just got to scrap it. But really, even when a piece of work is failing, it's not really a waste of time because you've learned from it and you've grown from it and even in like some tiny way that you don't even realise and I just try to hold that in mind even when I'm kind of going to cry because I've wasted all this time it's not wasted, it's not really wasted <laughs> and I decided to paint the new one in watercolour just because I feel like I had a bit more control over it and a bit more practice in it and I, I thought I'd just do this smaller, simpler, get it done and it's actually pretty interesting painting with the two mediums because you can really compare them because you're painting the same thing. And you kind of realise what you like about each one. So like inks are a lot more vibrant and like watercolour tends to lose its saturation but I also feel like I have a lot more control over watercolour and you can kind of, um, it's less staining so if you make a mistake with watercolour you can just kind of dab it up back up so it's a bit more forgiving in that sense. I think in both paintings, I really need to kind of plan the composition, copy all the composition, plan the contrast, plan the levels, because they kind of lack a sophisticated use of tone and dark and light, and it's just like the whole thing. If you turn it black and white, it would be like the same, because there's just no contrast in it really. Like there's contrast in colour, but not in tone at all. And I think I was really need to take my time more and think about where I'm putting stuff down. I keep saying this every single freaking painting I make. I'm just like, I need to take my time. I need to think about things. Think about things. But it's really hard. I just, I just kind of want to just dive in and do it. And I think because part of the fun is just mindlessly putting crap on a page, just putting shit on a page. But I just, if I could just rein that in a little bit and just, just at least like sketch it out. Maybe do a couple of. Um, 
trial mini trial runs or something and just just a little bit of planning like I don't I don't have to spend hours planning it but just like just rein it in a little bit and chill and just take a second to plan it out I think it would just be way more effective and it would look way less muddy and it would actually maybe take less time because I would each stroke I know is accomplishing more it would if that makes sense you know like each, each each stroke is a little bit more thought through, it's a little bit, you know, you know what I'm saying, it's like got more weight behind it, it's got more information. So to talk about the actual idea of painting, so I watched the Wonder Woman movie a while ago and I loved it, I was really taken back to it, taken aback with it. I mean, there have been other female-led superhero movies, but this one just, it was just really different. It just kind of portrays the protagonist with, with like the strength and compassion and and intelligence. And it felt, it felt like kind of she was more of a whole rounded character instead of like just a beautiful woman in short shorts. You know what I mean? Like she actually kind of, she had this, very feminine strength to her that I really like. And also on a side note, I love Gal Gadot. I love her. She's like, I have such a crush on her. She is just so elegant and gorgeous. I love her. Anywho, so I kind of wanted to express this feeling of inspiration in a painting. And the idea was kind of that women all have the strength of Wonder Woman inside her. I know that sounds very um, sappy, but that's kind of the idea that I have. And like even though you feel low, you feel knocked down, you have this strength in you. And that's kind of why I had this um, subject, she's on her knees, and then this kind of Wonder Woman-esque spirit rising out of her in this manifestation. And I chose um, blue and red, obviously, because these are the kind of Wonder Woman colours, because she's like, for some reason, an American hero, even though she's not from America. Where's that doing, She's from... Some island, right? I don't know, I don't really know. She's from some island. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to show the two colours and those are the two kind of contrasting states of mind between like being down and feeling like shit and you know, kind of lifting yourself up and having this strength, like one of them is strength, you know? So yeah. So although I like the second painting a bit more it's not perfect and I could have developed it a bit more and there are things that would change like mainly like the values and also the colours are a bit duller in the second painting like they're a lot more vibrant in the first painting but it's like really hard to get vibrant like proper saturated colours with water colours in the same way that you can with inks like you can get vibrant water colours but just it's very hard to get on the same level with inks because they're just very little bit. you know, you know. Uh, yeah, so that that was why there were two paintings in this video, and that was why I started again, because I don't know, maybe a more developed artist could have saved this painting. Maybe I might have been able to, I don't know. Or maybe a more accomplished artist would have made those mistakes. I know no one's perfect, even professional artists mess up their paintings sometimes, but I think they kind of at least think through things a bit more than I do. So yeah, that's 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 all I have to say. Cool. See you later. Bye.